there goes the ones I, I get excited about. Uh-oh, we got something. I see something floating. I see something floating. I see something floating. We got us a beaver, baby. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like a small one, but we're gonna take it no matter what. I mean, I wanna make sure I got you going in the, in the uh, GoPro app. I'll tell you what, awesome. Yes, baby. And uh, I don't, I, I'll give a shout out to people later, but there's some people that really helped me with this. Judas Davis, uh, I got a front foot catch on that one too. Perfect. Yes. That's my second beaver of my life ever there, guys. So uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. Let me, uh, let me unpack my stuff and then uh, I'll get back to you. I don't want to. Pretty pumped. It doesn't look like the biggest beaver, but it's a beaver. Stay there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Like I said, that's my second beaver ever. It's definitely not the biggest beaver, but he's he's uh he's gonna be good to eat. And uh I'm gonna reset this. Um, one thing about this, where I'm trapping is, is um, I don't wanna, I'm just trying to remove a few here. Um, we like having the beavers, and uh, so I'm not gonna go crazy here. I, I'm either looking at maybe two or three, and then I have a spot right down the road that I was probably gonna relocate, so. I'm gonna do a little research. I don't wanna, I don't wanna remove the population. I wanna, like I said, we like having them here. We come back and check them out and we enjoy them. They're far enough away from everything that they're really not gonna do too much damage and uh, we can, uh, we can continue to have them in it. So, but. I had them with a front foot catch. Pretty cool. I love it. Uh, you know, I was in a good mood already today starting out and uh, this just makes it better. Uh, awesome. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and take care of him. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the cook today, but I am definitely gonna do a catch and cook. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be today or tomorrow, but one of these in the next day or so, I will be cooking him and uh, trying it. I want to do some research on recipes and whatnot. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let me get this set made and then I'll get back to you. Here we go. Uh, I got my caster. I don't want to touch the back straps because I just touched the caster. I was expecting a little bit bigger back straps, but they're, uh, that's plenty for me. And, and here goes the pelt. Um, I did save the tail. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um, I know a lot of people have things they do with the tail. So, um, like I said earlier, if you guys know anything that I'm missing a step where I can get some quality meat off of that thing, please leave me the feedback. Um, 
This is the first time my dog doesn't know what to think of this. He just watched me from the house. So, um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, um, and stay tuned. Like I said, I'll be doing daily, uh, daily vlogs from now to the end of the season. And then, uh, we'll see what the state of the world is after that. I may end up staying up here and we'll do some, uh, some, some, uh, foraging and maybe some trap fishing. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm in no real big hurry to go back to the city right now. So I'm pretty much going to ride this side as much as I can up here. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, share me out and, uh, appreciate it and stay tuned what's up everybody as uh as promised here goes the uh cook of the beaver um i did marinate it with some uh some uh not marinated but i seasoned it with some montreal steak make sure that that's in there nice and good it's a nice red i should have probably took some of this this silver but i didn't so hopefully it's not too bad grisly i should say well, we got some mushrooms, some onions, sweet potato on there. Got the grill nice and hot. I'm gonna try it like a steak. And there we go. I'll get back to you. All right, got about a minute and a half. I'm gonna try to. Flip them over here for another minute or so. Smells pretty good. That smells real good. So, all right. Next time, uh, I'll probably do one more update and then I'll do my uh, initial bite. So, stay tuned. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with. Trapper Jay made his, they were pretty red. I don't know if I'm willing to go as red as he did, but. I don't want to burn them, but I also don't want them to be that red. So I'm gonna give them another couple of seconds here. They do smell good though. I'm actually gonna get a knife and cut them to them and see how they look. All right. I think they're about where I want them. See how these turned out? Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, man. I'm, this is looking good. And as with any, uh, if I'm gonna let that rest for a couple minutes. My dog's like, I hope you don't like it because I'm getting it if you don't. <laughs> All right, guys, next one, uh, give me a minute. I'll be uh, getting back to you with a taste test here. All right. Smells really good. Looks really good. Let's do the, uh, do the old taste test here. And I got my A1 just, just in case. That's pretty good. Really can't tell too much difference than uh than beef.
That looks a lot redder in the um, camera than it really is. It's, I would call that medium. It's good though. It's, uh, yeah, it's really good. So, hope you all guys enjoyed this. I'm going to shut you off and I'm going to eat, eat the rest of this. And uh, I'm not sure how long much I got here, but I'm going to work on getting this video up for you guys tonight. Uh, I got some plans. I'm going to go see Leatherbound, or sorry, Freezer Bound Outdoors. Um, we were just actually texting. So, I'm going to go hang out with those guys a little bit tonight. And uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, stay tuned. Like I keep saying, I'll be doing the daily vlog every day at 8 o'clock Eastern time. I'll be putting a video up. And uh, I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the legs. And I'm going to make a stew out of it. I'm going to keep the legs, uh, the shoulder roast off of it. And I'm going to try to make a stew. I'm going to get a Dutch oven and I'm going to try to do it on my uh, on the kerosene heater. I think that would be a pretty cool video. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but... So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, everybody.